All right, first thing you wanna do is grab you a black and white document, right? Go ahead and use this fella right here. We're gonna copy the image, Let's paste it. New document clipboard, paste that on there. And then we're gonna go filter, neural filters. Then we're gonna go color, colorize. And it's just off one click, it, that's what it gave you. That's pretty, wow, that's pretty good. Of course, we don't, since I got the picture um, in black and white, we don't know if these were exactly those colors. So let's test out to see if it, if it'll know exactly what colors or what. Let's try this color, this one with the balloons. All right, let's go. First, first thing we're gonna do is make it black and white. It's gonna desaturate. Now we're gonna bring the color back. We're gonna go to neural filters. Go to our colorize joint. Well, well, they got the skin tone, it looks like, but it didn't get the balloons right. It thought the balloons were red. So that's the original. The skin tone is pretty, like it's very good. Did a good job of that, pretty much. It's missing some blue tones from the lighting in the photo. But other than that, that's pretty impressive. Like, so if you got some old black and white photos that you wanna turn into color and you don't wanna take hours to figure it out or whatever the case, you could just use this. Provided you got the newest edition of Adobe Photoshop. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments. I think it's pretty cool. All right, I'm out of here, y'all. I got other stuff to do. Peace.